I'm in the girls' bathroom, and these young drunk girls came in. Sure. And I remember one time they were like, ah, uh, and they were like 21, 22, and they were worrying about a dude and having stress over her boyfriend. And I just, and they were asking me for advice. Sure. Right? So I wasn't, it wasn't unsolicited. They were yeah, like, yeah. oh my God, what do I do? Like, you seem mature for your you age. I'm mature, like, you're like, you mean excuse old? Excuse me. <laughs> you mean old? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, uh, girls. Hey, I took it. And I went, listen, you guys are fucking only young once. Do all why the things. T- why tie yourself down with some guy who's apparently causing you so much trouble? I was like, be single. Fuck dudes. Make mistakes. Learn what you like in life. Yeah. Get your hoe phase out. Like, we all got to get that hoe you phase out. To. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, when you're guess 20, what? When you're older, it's not cute. Yeah, but it comes out. Like it will no come matter what, out no matter what it is it is clawing out of you like sure. a fucking Wolverine. That's true, right? Sure, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. have to let it go at some point. Yeah, you know what? There's this girl, um, her Stanley, who we called her when we went through seer training together, right? And uh, I had a lot of respect for her because of this. We we're both young, mm-hmm. you know. I was 20 years old. I think she was same age, but she knew that the guy she was with she wanted to fucking marry. Like she knew it. Okay, like they Book. they 100 percent knew they wanted to get sure. married. But she realized, right, in her maturity with things, she goes, listen, in order for us to get married, we both have to get our little hoe phase out. You have desires and things that you want, and I have desires and things that I want. And I guarantee that if we're married, we're going to be sitting there and to ourselves and wondering what would have been like to have that threesome with two Asian chicks. Yeah, like, that's what yeah, he wanted, yeah, right? Yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. And what would have been like to, like, been with... You know, another dude. You guys, another right? dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she purposely broke up with him, even though he didn't want to. And she was like, listen, you need to fuck whoever you want. I do whatever I want. No questions asked. And if we come back together. Yeah, and if we come back together, like, because we're going to. Like, she was telling him, because he was so worried that they wouldn't, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they got the phase out. They did it. They got married. They have kids. Shut They're up. fucking doing amazing. I think that's a very mature thing. Seriously. Because I'll tell you this right now. I know people who've gotten married who haven't gotten that phase out of their system. And they did it when they were fucking married. Yes. I you know, know people like that too. And I'm not saying everyone has to have it because there's, there's people out there who have self-control. Right. And they don't. Or they just don't, you know. Well, like, that's what I mean. They, yeah. don't, they don't care. They don't wonder. Yeah. They're very happy with what they have. But yeah. I would say majority of people. Yeah. And that's the thing too, guys. When we talk about these things, we're just talking about our experiences and like yeah, yeah, what yeah. we see. For sure. And like kind of majority, we're not gl- we're grouping everyone up. And um, you know, I got this. married later. So yeah. I think that helped. It does help. So I like got I had like my own cute apartment and work. And do you know what I mean? I yeah. got all these things. And it's not just like a hoe phase. It's like living by yourself too. Independent. Yeah. Totally independently. Experiencing things. Traveling on your by yourself. Yeah. Like doing all these things that will start to creep up sometimes. Yeah. If all you know is marriage, it will start to be like, hey, you know, I've never done that. Yeah. And it's like I'm saying, it's not just being slutty. It's like I've never gone to, you know, backpacked, whatever, but anything. Sure. Right. No, Um, you're right. Or Or owned a business. Be responsible for yourself. Paying your own bills. Not depending upon someone else. Coming Having alone time. Right. Being alone and knowing how to do that. That's huge. I miss. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I miss that. And we're just going to say really quick, and we love our husbands very much, but the other day I was thinking about my last apartment that I had. Okay. I was thinking about on the way here. Cute. <laughs> it was so cute. Well, I know you're getting like, yeah. Well, I will say this. It's, it's so funny. I grew up an extrovert my entire life. I yeah. really did. I was always hanging out with friends, always talking. Always Didn't want to be alone. No. I, yeah, yeah. No. Um, and then once I joined the military, I really started to appreciate my alone time. Even though I was alone in my dorm all the time, like, and I would always go out with my friends, I, I looked back on it and I would go, I actually really had a lot of alone time. Yeah. Because I'd journal a ton, I would think a ton, I would just spend a lot of time alone. And when you're married, and I'm sure when you have kids, you don't get the luxury of the mm-hmm. alone time. And I now feel like I'm part introvert, part extrovert, right? Yeah. Where I can totally be extroverted and be fine in my bubbly, normally self, as long as I get my alone time yeah yeah yeah. right the time to decompress to recharge to take care of myself to just think to be left the fuck alone yeah right don't fucking touch me (laughs) for two hours nobody touch me i don't know if everyone's like this but a lot of my girlfriends that i talk to are very similar in the sense right where there's sometimes my husband be like what's wrong like what what, do you want to hang out with me and it's like no no it's please don't take this personally i just need my me time 
Yeah. You know? And that's why sometimes for me, um, like going TDY, which in the military is like a temporary duty, like you mm-hmm. go out of state um, for like weeks or a month or whatever, yeah. was kind of like my alone time. Oh. You know, and and a lot of the guys would give me shit and be like, oh, you don't want to come out and drink with us. And I was like, no, I want to spend time working out in my fucking room alone. Sleeping. Doing whatever the fuck I want. Someone next to me (laughs) pinwheeling around. Right. Breathing on me. Yeah. Um, And I need that now for survivability. Yeah, I do. No. And that's uh, I think it's a healthy thing. I think it's healthy. And um, guys that are mature kind of know that and they'll they won't take it personally. But I did, like, when you're younger and you ask for alone time, they get real pissed. Wait, what? Huh? I know. Oh. What? What's the matter? What did yeah. I do? What did I do? And same, like, I am, uh, is that, do you like my guy yeah, impersonation? Good. Seeing you do it was probably <laughs> more funny <laughs> than <the sound. laughs> um, But uh, I was same extrovert. I like FOMO. I had to go to yeah. every single party, every single time someone was going out. I had to go Me whether too. I was tired or whatever. I'm like, I got to go. I gotta go. Yeah. And now I'm just like, oh my God, like it has to be something really good yeah. <laughs> to get well, me whole, out. Now I feel like I go through this inner, ba- like this battle in my head, right? Where I go, well, I do kind of want to go out, but I really don't feel like getting dressed up. And, and I, I kind of want to stay bad home, tomorrow. Yeah. right? Because I, I don't really want to go out. I want to have my alone time, just lounge. But at the same time, what if I miss out on something? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I go through FOMO this. FOMO I really need to work on. Like, I can't believe I still have it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe and it's starting maybe to go. Who we are. Yeah, it's starting to go away. I mean, I don't ever want to not have it, right? Like, I don't ever want to be like, not care at all. Yeah. Like, I like the fact, because you could easily do that too, where True. it's like the people that literally, you cannot get them out I of know. the house. Like, And then you just stop asking them. And then once they come. get out, all they want to do is go back home. Yeah, and like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that you can turn yourself into an introvert without do you know what i mean i can see that and until you force yourself to you go ha- out and- a little bit you have to i mean don't force yourself if you don't want to but yeah. like it is very good and i have to force my husband to do it sometimes where i'm just like i know you don't feel like it but these are like you need to have relationships in your life <laughs> like you do i yeah. think whether I it's like one close healthy. friend that you go out with once a month but you have to make a point to like Go out with just that friend. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And have a glass of wine or not or go for a walk or whatever. Yeah. But I think being social and especially now these day and age, like you have to force yourself to do it because it's so easy not to. Yeah. You feel like you're social on your phone. You're watching Netflix. There's so many things to binge. You're like, I'm good. I know. But you're not good. Yeah. Like once you if you are ever forced to be in a situation, you'll be like. Uh, uh, you'll uh, seize uh, out uh, you won't you need to know how to do small talk to too talk. yeah as horrible as it is and i hate it so much yeah. i usually just like to do medium talk right no i agree and <laughs> you know yeah like i don't care how like what part of town you live in yeah i want to know how you're fucking yeah i want to know some shit i want to know when the last time you fucking had sex Give with your husband the are you guys doing it or not doing it? Yeah. do you know what i mean and they're like listen nice to meet you yeah, i'm like what, yeah, yeah let's what. get into it i don't give a fuck about what you ate for breakfast <laughs> okay just tell me some fucking i want to know what juicy kind of fucking- juicy stuff <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> i want to know what kid in the neighborhood you fucking hate <laughs> 